work boot review under 10. All right, starting on the left, Sears Craftsman, or Sears Diehard, I should say, uh, leather, what the heck do they call this, seven inch work boot. Center is what I would just say is army boot, summer version, where it's got the little, it has the little uh, vents in the side, it has the canvas instead of the full leather. And over here on the right is the Mills Fleet Farm, and I hope I'm not messing this up. I think it is the Field and Forest brand. I seem to remember it coming out of a yellow box. Um, let's start with the Sears Craftsman, or Sears Die Hard. You can see it says Die Hard right here in the tongue. Um, I do pavement repair for a living now. I was in the Army for eight years, and now I do construction work, pavement work. For doing asphalt type work, you need to have a flat sole so you can walk across hot or new asphalt and not leave as much impact, where if you have a sharper heel on a regular boot, it will leave a, it'll actually leave that sole mark in the fresh asphalt. So a lot of asphalt guys use the Sears Die Hard. And I actually had a particular pair of Sears Die Hard. I don't think they really changed much. I don't think they've changed at all in the last seven, eight years. A color a little bit maybe. I had a particular pair that went three seasons before I finally had to give them up to where the front of the sole was flopping down and that was three seasons of asphalt work because the diesel or uh, other additives around the asphalt industry that's used to lubricate the tools it actually seems to enhance the leather a little bit and seem to make it more flexible and last longer and overall the asphalt, the heat of the asphalt really didn't do too much damage to the sole. Uh, and then I switched over with the same boots, I switched over to concrete and I expected at least close to the same results but dramatically different on the concrete. Uh, these, these boots here have seen three quarters of one summer of use. You can start, you can see the cracks starting in the sides and I have oiled them. It's just it is a lot it is an extra step I'm not opposed to doing the maintenance of something to try to make it last longer but oiling your boots sometimes gets a little more time consuming than it's really worth and on the concrete side these boots last one year before the cracks in the sides start to split open and you can start to see your sock so um, I tried I, I parked those for a while and I tried my army boots under honorable discharge conditions a soldier can take their last issued uniform and use it for whatever they want. Now these have some wear and tear but it was all from the concrete that they were in. These are completely brand new boots two years ago. Right now it is uh, September, second week of September 2013. I pulled these brand new out of a box in spring of 2012 so they went through the entire 2012 season which is mostly the summer months and I did frequently wear them in the winter between 12 and 13 and then I also wore them this entire year they actually just came off my feet about 10 minutes ago I wear these things all the time and you can see the damage is coming through but these boots lived their life all on the concrete crew which is a little bit of this and a little bit of that but you're always around the more abrasive and everybody knows Portland cement eats leather however they are made in the USA they are the Ultima brand Let's see if I can open that tag up they lasted twice as long as the Sears Die Hard now I've actually never purchased a pair of army boots I don't honestly know what they cost I'm sure you can get different deals on them through the internet I would assume around 100 to 120, but I don't know that for a fact. I do know that the Sears Die Hard boots are generally listed around 90 bucks, but you can oftentimes get these same boots for 30 to 50 dollars, anywhere in that range, depending on the sale Sears is having, and or you can definitely almost always get them on Black Friday for 30 to 50 dollars. I've consistently found them when they have my size for that price so twice the price twice the length of time half the price half the length of time on the same duty you can do the math but the 
Made in USA feature is what sold me there. Um, and on that note, I was at Mills Fleet Farm, and in no way, shape, or form am I trying to say that Mills Fleet Farm is a bad store. I think they're very honorable. I think they, I like the way they always have the, the uh, soldier f uh, on their ads, and they, they give history on their Sunday paper ads of all the wars and different dates that America has been in throughout the world. So, in war, I mean, I saw these boots there, the Made in USA, and I, I think that's Field and Forest. Don't quote me on that. I purchased these boots uh, 2012 sometime. I don't remember exactly when. They sat in my closet for quite a while. And when I did start wearing them, I knew when purchasing them, I'm going to show you in a second, but I knew when purchasing them, they were not going to be trudge around in the concrete work boots. They were going to be more of like a, a bidding boot, we'll say, like a soft duty. Based in part on, I knew the sole was a softer type material. It's not hard, almost plastic like the army boot. And we'll, we'll come back to this in a second. I do want to say though that running around on concrete for almost two years, the soles are really worn down and these get really slippery on wet grass. And I walked fairly straight, so you can see that the heel wore fairly level. There's some guys where it's just like ripped off, like somebody took a knife and cut half the boot off because they walk so crooked. But that sole can handle two years of twisting, turning, kicking, stomping asphalt and concrete. Whereas I knew just by touching these, they have more of a foamy type sole. I knew they were going to be a, a, a very, very light duty work boot and I have no reason to lie to anybody. I did not use these boots for any type of construction or even personal housework. They were only used on one job site where I had to sort out a, a locker room full of uh, doors and hardware and the floor was finished concrete with a smooth finish, not even a brushed finish. It was smooth finish concrete I was in that situation all day working with them. Other than that, they've done nothing but walk around yards and pretty much look nice. And I do got to say they were the most comfortable boots I've ever had on my feet. That being said, I've never tried anything like an Irish Setter or a Red Wing. But here's the problem. This is where you, the consumer, and Mills Fleet Farm, you're going to want to take note. You've got the brief history on the boot. I have not worked with them. I have not used them hard. I knew they were going to be light duty boots, but you got to take a look at the sole here. I don't know really what more needs to be said. They started cracking like this after the first maybe week. Honest to God, I've really only worn these boots maybe a total of 20 times ever doing nothing but light duty stuff and sorting some doors and hardware they started cracking right underneath the ball of the foot the first couple weeks and then this just happened recently where the whole back half of the heel just ripped off I would not purchase these again they were $120 original price or 130 somewhere there I got them for 90 they have really good thick um, leather uppers so what my plan is now is to potentially see if I can have them resold with a different material these are says Thorogood oil slip and shock resistant made in USA um, very disappointed in the soles of these boots. I don't know what else I need to say any further than that. Uh, you can make your own judgment from there. Extremely comfortable, but I would say if you take them out of the carpet of your living room, you're going to have a bad time. So Sears Craftsman, one year, can be gotten for 50 Not And if uh, you are on a different type of crew, asphalt or maybe landscaping they probably last, last longer than concrete so hundred dollars normal price approximately ninety or fifty if you get them on sale 
military boots stood the test of time and obviously they can handle combat I actually love wearing them and then these about a hundred dollars give or take depending on what sale you get on them but I would say fail fail miserably I don't know what it's gonna cost to resole them but fail that's it